So I have a fresh install of Ubuntu 2010 Groovy Gorilla, uh, as you can see. And I'm on the development branch for the time being. So to set a static IP, we can use NetPlan, uh, or we can use a GUI method, which is you just go up here and go into your wired settings, and you can change in here your settings. So you can see in here, you can set it to manual, which is essentially static. Uh, I don't need to do that, so I'll leave it alone. Um, but you can also do it from command lines. So this also works on the server uh, variant rather than desktop. So first of all, we can use IP link show to list off our interfaces. So on this one, this is a virtual machine. So ENS1 is, is my uh, outside world. You can do IP address show to see what your current address is. So at the moment, you can see this is got a, um, an IP address on my local LAN. I'm only doing IPv4, not 6, although it's very similar for 6. Um, so we'll clear that. So you can use NetPlan to apply, and this will work on the server and the desktop variants. Um, so first of all, we need to go to where those files are stored, which is in the ITSE net, uh, NetPlan. And in here, you'll see that there's a, a file already there, so we can edit that using sudo nano. Uh, zero 01, there we go, password. Uh, and in here you can see it's already generated part of a file, this is how it just does defaults. So this is where you would change if you wanted to set a static IP. So in here you use spaces, not tabs. If you use tabs it will break, that's a, a YAML thing which is the, the structure of this file. So in here we would add ethernets. And then when you add a new line, you indent by two spaces and then two more spaces. So in here we would need to add our um, interface name, so ENS2, I think. And then underneath that, space, 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 because we're indenting three times, so each indent is two spaces. Uh, and, and if we did want to uh, apply just DHCP, we would just add DHCP4 uh, colon space true. So this would just set the. This would just set it up. I've just got a typo there. DHCP. This would set it up. Just use DHCP uh, and nothing else. So if we write that file out using Control O and then close that file using Control X, and then do a sudo net plan apply, that will apply that. And it at this point it will give you an error. So for instance, in this file, if you forget to add the space. Uh, and you do an apply, it will give you an error saying that that line has the uh, has, has the error, which is, is very handy. So, uh, if we turn that to false, you can set a static uh, IP address. So, in here we would go addresses, and then we would uh, use square brackets to add our addresses. Uh, and you would add them in this format. So I'm on a .88 dot something, so I'm gonna add 200 for instance, and it's slash 24 to say that it's a, a slash 24 subnet. Um, and then you add your gateway below. So gateways, uh, or gateway four rather. Uh, and you do this in a similar way. If you only have one address, you can just, you don't need square brackets or anything like that, you can just add it uh, like so. Uh, and then your name servers. Now name servers have options, so you would go below and then indent again. So we can add uh, the addresses of our name servers. Normally you'd have more than one, so square brackets. Uh, I'll just add my router for now. Um, but you can look up how NetPlan works and you can you can find if you need to have more than one uh, address for a name server, that's how you do it. So you write that out, close that down and NetPlan apply. So I have an error in my addresses, A-D-R-E, I've probably spelled it wrong, let's have a look. Yeah, it's two Ds. So we can do that again apply and it's now applied so if I now do an IP uh, address and then show we can now see or we should now see uh, 
Ah, see, another error, it's ENS1, not ENS2. So we can quickly go back in, apply that again, and then have a look. And we can see that we now have the static IP address as set. So NetPlan is really good because when you apply it, it throws back errors rather than just allowing them through. Uh, and obviously you can do a lot more with this. So one of the questions I had on the previous video is what happens if you want more than one address? So in here, it is literally as simple as just adding a comma and then adding a, a second address. You have to be a little bit careful with adding second addresses because if you add something that's not on the same subnet, you would have to add, add another gateway and you then have to define routes and all kinds of other things to do with IP networking. But say you just wanted to add the two uh, networks or the two addresses rather, and say that you wanted to add your second, uh, we'll add Google as a D, second DNS and Cloudflare as why not, keep it agnostic. So it is just as simple as comma and then add those in. And then if we do an apply, it will just apply it. And if we do an IP address show, so now you can see there's two two IP addresses for the same interface. Uh, and it is as simple as that with the net plan. It, it makes it so much easier to apply these things. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you found it useful, then let YouTube know by using the like button. If you want more information, have a look in the links below or leave a comment. If you want to follow me for more content like this, then feel free to subscribe as well.